power of baba's udi it is well known that baba took dakshina from all and out of the amount collected he spent it on charity and with the rest of the money he purchased fuel this fuel he used for the dhuni the sacred fire which he kept ever burning in the dwarkamai masjid the ash from this fire was called udi and it was freely distributed to the devotees at the time of their departure from shirdi baba taught by his udi that all the visible phenomena in the universe is transient like ash our bodies composed of the five elements will one day wither and be reduced to ashes thus to remind the devotees that this body is temporary baba distributed udi and imparted to them that brahman is the only reality and that no one near and dear in this world is ours we come to this world alone and we leave it alone the udi cured many physical and mental maladies it conferred health prosperity and freedom from anxiety once a friend of baba a devotee named narayan motiram jani of nashik was stung by a scorpion and the pain caused by it was severe and unbearable narayan rav to relieve his friend's pain searched high and low for udi but found none then he stood before baba's picture and invoked baba's aid chanted his name and took a pinch of the ashes that had fallen from the burning joss stick thus thinking it to be baba's udi narayan rav applied to his friend around the area of pain as soon as narayan rav took out his fingers the pain vanished and both narayan rav and his friend were moved to tears in the year 1905 nana saheb chandorka was a mamlatdar at jamner in the kandesh district of maharashtra this place is 100 miles away from shirdi his daughter mainatai was pregnant and was about to deliver her case was very serious as she suffered from labor pains for the past 2 to 3 days nana saheb chandorkar tried all remedies but in vain he was at his wits end and so he fervently prayed to baba meanwhile in shirdi a person called babu girbuva had to go to his native place jalgaon in kandesh baba who heard nana saheb's prayers called babu girbuva and told him to go to jamner and give the udi to nana saheb Babu Girbuva said that he had only 2 rupees with him to go up to his native in Jalgaon and that he had insufficient money to make the rest of the trip from Jalgaon to Jamner. Baba assured him that he need not worry as everything would be taken care of. Then Baba asked his intimate devotee Shama to hand Babu Girbuva a packet of udi along with a copy of his aarti to be delivered to nana saheb thus relying on baba's words babu girbuva left shirdi and reached jalgaon railway station at about 2:45 am he had only two annas left with him and was in a quandary about how to reach jamner to his great relief he heard somebody calling for him who is babu girbuva of shirdi he went to the stranger and introduced himself as the person then the stranger professed he was a peon sent by nana saheb to fetch him he took babu girbuva in an excellent tonga with a good pair of horses the tonga sped and they reached a brooklet early in the morning on route to jamner When they halted to water the horses the tonga driver told babu girbuva to partake in some refreshments that nana saheb had personally sent for them after having the refreshments they started again 
and reached Jamnar at dawn. Bapugir Bhuva alighted from the Tonga to attend nature's call and returned to find there was neither the Tonga nor its driver. After making inquiries with the village folk, Bapugir Bhuva found Nana Sahib's house and gave Baba's Udi and Arati. At the time, Nana Sahib's daughter Mainata's condition was critical and all were anxious about her life. Nana Sahib asked his wife to give the Udi mixed with water for their daughter to drink and they all sang Baba's Arati. In a few minutes, the midwife arrived to inform Nana Sahib that the delivery was safe and that the crisis had passed away. All of them were relieved to hear the good news that the danger that threatened Mainata's life was averted by Baba's grace. Bapu Girbua thanked Nana Sahib for arranging the tonga and refreshments, but the latter was greatly surprised and confessed that he had sent none to pick Bapu Girbua from the railway station. He also said he wasn't aware of any person coming from Shirdi. It was then that all of them realized Baba himself had come in the form of the Tonga driver to save Mainata's life. Thus, with their hearts filled with gratitude, Nana Sahib and his family profusely thanked Baba, the saviour of his devotees. Om Sairam Ram.